to see this thing cardiac output see the functioning of the heart is determined by cardiac output understand this part cardiac again cardiac is nothing but heart output what is coming out of the heart blood is coming out of the heart so see the heart itself it is self explanatory the amount of blood ejected from the heart per minute per minute is known as cardiac output so our heart it pumps out blood from the heart the amount or the volume of blood per minute which is coming out of the heart is known as cardiac output you know the simple definition is asked in 2018 gpat you can go and refer it 2018 gpat there is a question what is cardiac output four options are given the amount of blood coming out of the heart per minute is known as cardiac output the other thing there is one more word known as stroke volume see stroke in this sense is nothing but a contraction this is called as stroke so with every contraction what whatever the volume is coming out it is called as stroke volume remember there is a difference between these two cardiac output means per minute how much amount of blood is coming out of the heart whereas stroke volume is per stroke with each and every stroke how much amount is coming out of the heart now statistically cardiac output is given by stroke volume multiplied by heart rate so this is the volume of blood comes with one stroke heart rate means how many strokes are there in, in minute heart rate we usually call it as 70 beats per minute approximately 70 beats so heart rate means 70 times it gives contractions and relaxations right stroke volume is per stroke how much blood is coming out let me give you some numericals in a healthy human being a healthy human being all our textbooks when they say healthy human being they talk about 70 kilo human being 70 kilo weight human being so my weight is 70 kilo so i can be considered as a healthy human being in a healthy human being the stroke volume is 70 ml now understand this the stroke volume is related to ventricles so when this ventricle contracts it pumps the blood 70 ml of blood into lungs similarly when left ventricle contracts it pumps 70 ml of blood to aorta so that is what is stroke volume is per stroke 70 ml goes out of the heart this ventricle 70 ml this ventricle 70 ml now what is the heart rate i said approximately it is 70 beats per minute so when you multiply this it comes around 4900 milliliter or when it is equated it is 5 liters so this 5 liters is nothing but cardiac output so per minute in a healthy individual without any exercise or without any anxiety the heart will be pumping 5 liters of blood per minute now understand this i'm taking in a normal conditions please 70 when you have anxiety what happens to this 70 it becomes 100 becomes 150 200 also what happens if it is 100 if it is 100 100 multiplied by 70 you will get instead of 5 liters it becomes 7 liters so instead of pumping 5 liters of blood per minute heart has to pump 7 liters of blood what are you doing you are increasing the internal pressure inside the heart what happens if it is 150 even more amount of blood has to be pumped out so all this anxiety increases workload on the heart the increased workload will damage ventricular walls and that is what causes cardiovascular disease let me brief it out again see cardiac output is the efficiency function of heart how efficiently heart is working can be described by cardiac output cardiac means out cardiac means heart output means what is coming out of the heart blood comes out of the heart so cardiac output indicates the amount of blood ejected ejected means coming out of the heart per minute this is numerically given by stroke volume into heart rate what is stroke volume per one stroke how much amount of the blood comes out of the heart is known as stroke volume in a healthy individual with right ventricle let's see both of them will contract together but they are sending blood to different zones right ventricle is sending deoxygenated blood to lungs left ventricle is sending oxygenated blood to aorta right ventricle sends 70 ml of blood to lungs whereas left ventricle sends 70 ml of oxygenated blood to aorta again i am telling you this is an ideal case of healthy individual so this is for stroke volume heart rate in healthy individual again 70 beats when you multiply you will get 
five liters of cardiac fluid. So this is what is there. Now again, coming back to the other things. See, so usually the ventricle function is has got more prominence than atria function. Why? Because even though there is a problem in atria, ventricle will manage. Why they are, how they are managing? Look at this. When ventricle, uh, look at this, look at my hands. See, atria, when atria contracts, blood will be coming to ventricle. When ventricle dilates, when it is dilating, it causes a negative pressure. Because of this negative pressure, blood will come down to this ventricle. Even though ventricle is not working properly, when ventricle dilates, it creates a negative pressure. Blood moves from high pressure to low pressure, so blood will be falling down. Let me give you numerical things. The numerical things are, see, when ventricle is dilated, the amount of blood it has, it will have is 140 ml. See, again, this is with healthy individual. Now understand this. When ventricle is dilated, it gets the blood 140 ml. When it is contracting, the blood goes out of the heart. How much blood is going? 70 ml. So then ventricle will have 70 ml. Out of this, half of the ml is pumped out. Then again, atria contracts and then blood is getting here. Now, if, wait, if atria is not contracting, only ventricle is relaxing or dilating, because of the negative pressure, the 70 becomes 125 ml. That means even though atria is not contracting, blood falls down from here to here. Look at this. Blood will falls down from here to here because of negative pressure, it is 125 ml. When atria contracts from this part, that 125 is converted to 140 ml. So what is the effective amount of blood that atria is pumping? It's only 15 ml. So even though atria is not giving proper systoles, blood can fall down. This is true with both the chambers. That is the reason why, <coughs> excuse me, even though atria function is not completely there, ventricle right will manage. Let me explain it again. Understand it properly. See, stroke volume is related to each ventricle. Each ventricle with one stroke, 70 ml of blood goes to lungs from here. With one stroke, 70 ml will get into aorta. Right? When ventricle is dilating, you have 140 ml of blood is here, you have 140 ml of blood is here. How that 140 ml comes? When they are dilating, with the negative pressure, blood falls down from atria. The total ml will be 125 ml. When atria contracts, that 125 becomes 140. That means only 15 ml of the blood is pumping from the atria because of its contraction. So even though atria is not pumping the blood properly, because of this ventricular negative pressure, blood can come down. That is why ventricular wall tension is very important. One. Ventricle, see, because when ventricle contracts, it has to pump this alternated blood to iota. From here, it has to pump to this lungs. If blood is not being pumped to the lungs, you don't have oxygenation. If blood is not being pumped properly, the blood cannot reach to aorta and all the organs will not get enough blood. So this is the significance of cardiac output and stroke volume. Now, 